Hi, Rand here for another Rand's Info Corner. Now, there's a couple subjects I want to touch on here. Uh, the first one is the uh, just reading the paper about the school district. They're going to start laying off uh, or you know getting rid of some programs for this budget cut and stuff. Heads up on something that uh, you should uh, cut that needs to be cut. You know, you have these uh, custodians riding around these vans uh, cleaning schools. You could probably save a lot of money got rid of those vans and left the custodians at the schools like they used to be and maybe your schools w will get cleaned like they're supposed to. Now I know I used to work for the school district and I was a custodian so I know what goes on and stuff and, uh, and I still know a lot of people in the school district they're telling me their classrooms, classrooms are suffering because these people just don't uh, clean the classrooms uh, properly like they should be. Now this whole thing started by a couple of supervisors that uh, used to be there, but uh, they were asked to leave uh, because of their annex and stuff that they used to pull off over there at the school district. Like I said, I used to work there, so I know what goes on and stuff. And uh, you know, especially a one individual that is still working there, uh, he was working at the same school I was, and he would leave and go clean up business during school hours. He's supposed to be at the school cleaning. How do I know this? Because he was cleaning a business that was across the street from where I live. I'd come home, you know, because I was only working uh, four hours at the time, and I would come home after I'd do my four hours, and there he was at the business waving at me, cleaning the business, when he's supposed to be working eight hours at the school. And this guy's still working at the school district. So like I'm saying, you get those custodians out of those vans, save some money, sell the vans, save on gas, save on insurance, and uh, let's take care of that one problem because uh, it ain't working. They should be left at the schools to do the job. And to complain like, well, I can't do it by myself, tough. We'll find somebody who can. Gotta start getting tough. Another thing also too, when I'm around town, I talk to people and stuff, and you know this subject comes up also that the, your grounds yeah I guess they like to park in their neighborhood you know and just hang out there for a while you know aren't you supposed to be out there uh, taking care of the school grounds I don't know why the schools look like they do they probably tell oh wow man like you know we don't have the time hey I, for uh, another school district I work for the grounds and I know what what goes on and uh, we have we had plenty to do, let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't see where these guys get off and uh, going off and parking in someone's neighborhood and kicking back for a while. Don't you guys got radios in those trucks or walkie-talkies that uh, you can have those people check in now that and, uh, that you know where they're at? I'm at so-and-so school and this is what I'm doing. Or having them start marking their time down for how much uh, time they spend in each school. Hey, come on. You know, I don't want to see anybody lose their job, but man, if they're abusing it, we got to get rid of these people or do something about it. Start getting strict. And talking about abusing, this is the next subject. Now, I don't like using this one word, the N word, but it seems like these two, there's two of them now. Well, there always have been two of them. They, they're known as the parking Nazis. Now, like I said, I don't like using that word Nazi because of what it refers to back to uh, what they did back during World War II, but it seems like this nickname is appropriate for these two individuals. Now, I was telling you about that one uh, woman that walks around with that, you know, the chalk stick. Now, there's another guy. Now, I've heard <laughs> horror stories about this guy, too. This guy comes in a half hour early to go patrol the parking so he can catch people off guard and writes them a ticket. Now what's up with that? Isn't anybody monitoring these guys? These people? The guy comes in a half hour early so he can catch people. This, this, I mean, this has got to stop. And I'm asking all of you people out there that work and live in downtown Pomona, I want you to hang your head out the window or step out your door and yell out, I'm sick and tired of the abuse. Now this is, I'm telling you, you know, we're trying to 
bring up the image, you know, promoting it, all that good stuff, you know, positive thinking. And then you're letting these two parking Nazis running around abusing their power. Now, I'm going to look in further in this other individual, and I'm going to see if I can find me some witnesses. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to get straight from, excuse me, from the horse's mouth if they had any uh, uh, problems with this other individual. So, I just thought I'd just let you know what's going on here in downtown Pomona about these two I guess, officers. I didn't even want to call them officers because they're ashamed of the police department. These two individuals. Okay, like I said, if you're sick and tired of this abuse, walk out your business, hang your head out your window, and yell out, I'm sick and tired of the abuse. Because, like I said, it's got to stop. It's got to stop now. And I won't stop until it stops. Okay, like always, this is Ren. You take care now. You take care of those ones you love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.